Only a noob needs to practice clapping. That's true. Oh, I didn't see you come in. Welcome back to the Renegade Constabulary plays L.A. Noir. In the last episode, the DA tried to get himself killed by corrupt police officers, and we wandered into a sewer to shoot people. Full of guns. You should take a gun. It probably has more ammo, I guess. Yeah. Although I've, I've used quite a bit, and usually the... Uh, Alternate weapons do have a limited capacity. Yeah. Doesn't go in this Somebody way. Tag that son of a bitch. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, we also had a delightful clipping. That's a shotgun. A little bit. Which? Not as good for this. For you playing the home game. Not so good for long range. Catch this! <laughs> this is not going well. Oh, Lord in heaven, it's the flamethrower guy! <laughs> We're so not happy times! Wow. Sunday, Monday, unhappy days. <laughs> this is gonna go so well. Take this machine gun. I want it. Yeah, uh, there you go. There's the DAR. Yeah, we're... I don't... I don't know what to say other than BOO! <laughs> okay. Oh, that was probably for okay. the best. Here. Throw out the gun. Tell. Oh, there's a gun. Not the one I was thinking of, but sure, we'll kill that one. The auto aim in this game is ridiculous. It's pretty silly. It, it like either works really well yeah, it either, or like, not at all. It either takes all of the skill out of the game or like gets you killed. Yeah. That's where you want it to be, right? The same place that you were. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously, did not want to. I can't really see him. That's it. Out of ammo. Oh, good. Ah, oh, my hat! Oh, no, you lost your hat. Oh, I, hey! You I picked, picked it up back your up. hat! Oh, my God, I didn't know you could do that. Hold up, hold up. Hey, right there. That's the spot. Shoot. I'm trying. I guess I can't possibly be out of ammo. So what the heck just happened? Yeah, there you go. There's you think the you can hold out? He's dead now. I think he's pretty dead now. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. That one was pissing me off. So... No, not this way. Guess I can cross over here? No, no, to the right. You could walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. Soon as he posts his head out, we step on it. That one died. Or no, I guess he didn't. Or he or got what, what happened there? He like I think he was resurrected. He did like a weird like puppet dance thing. Like, oh I'm dead. Oh, just kidding. Maybe the flame guy is a necromancer. That makes so much sense it can't possibly be wrong. Right? Or no wait, it makes absolutely no sense and thus can't possibly be right. That That's too. what I meant to say. No wait, it's totally right. I don't know what you're talking about. Consult the necro sages. They'll know. Ooh, That's a ooh, magic joke. ooh, that was a flamethrower. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Where? Right there. Take it. What, Take this it. No, thing? no, to the right. Right there. Can I actually? Yes! Oh my god, yes. I'm so jealous of you right now. It's a really phallic apparatus. Oh yeah. To the left? Is there actually a path? No, yeah. oh, I guess there is. I didn't see that. Good catch. I gotta get shot though. It's fine. This, you have this a is probably worse than the shotgun for ranged warfare. Also, it's very wet here. It is. The water's right. This feels dumb. Do you feel dumb right now? A little dumb. Like this is. Shoot awful. him with your flamethrower from there. Like, okay, just for the sake of. What is the range? Here? Not Take very good. Bullet, you son of a bitch. God damn. Yeah, yeah, that that no, that, that doesn't. That doesn't help. Uh, so yeah, need to. Can you run? I am running. Oh good. This this is what running looks like. Hey! Oh good, I was confused. Now I know. Knowing is half the battle. I think you may. The other half is not using a flamethrower in a flooded you can walk out yeah, there's a, a, there's a, out there's a ladder. ladder yeah. I think you may drown if you don't get there in time. No, I'm certain of that. The water is definitely rising. All right. 
Well, at least you have a flamethrower. <laughs> that is that is a life lesson. Always look on the bright side of having a flamethrower. I think it's still out of your room. You probably have a limited supply of ammo. You have a limited supply of ammo. I just want to see you burn one guy. Just missed. I did. I think. Nope. He's fine. This is terrible. Wait till he takes cover and then, or or just charge. That hurts, right? Yeah. Or end the corpses on the ground. That may be an issue. Why would you come towards me? I have a flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking to burn. I am. Oh, another guy. You gotta get closer, I think. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. I'm also trying not to stand on the burning corpses that I've created. Awesome. So this is slightly nightmarish. This is fucking awesome. How are you doing about. on this fine Wednesday? <laughs> I like the psycho music. Go for it. Go! Or not. Ooh, apparently not. Oh, over Did you here. just burn a hole in the floor? I think maybe. Keep on going, Jack. Are we done here? I think we're done here. I also need a giant fan to like extinguish burning corpses. That what? should that should be like an accessory. Or like an upgrade. Alright, so this has gotten a lot less linear, or I'm really confused. Gotten a lot less what? Linear? Where are you supposed to it go It does from feel here? less linear at this point. Although these people are all also already dead. Have I shot them from like over there? I don't no, know. No, they were burned from the guy. I guess that's like, When you first entered the like, room. Some of them don't look burnt. That one certainly is. Yeah, but like there was a guy over here who didn't look burnt. Like his skin yeah, is him, him you shot. When? I don't know what's going on. You auto-aimed at his face and shot him. I saw it. You didn't see that. I know I did. Did, did we come from here? I think we came from further to the left. Okay. From where I'm standing. This looks right. Oh. Oh, they didn't like it. Are you it. okay, princess? I felt better. She's a little he dirty. saved me from the doctor. Uh, Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do, if you come here to kill her. Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. Her. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And the ha. Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom. War's over, soldier. Oh, I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight Just for shoot God, He's on a mission. In our own mission ways. Mission from Gad. Not everyone knows it. Elsa, are you all right? Get away from her! It's all right, Cole. Just kill him. He doesn't want to hurt her. It's not all right. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? He lost his hat. Don't you remember Of course remember he did. He had to shoot him? some people to get here. I remember you. No. No. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. so terrible. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. Um... I don't blame you, Lieutenant. sort of the point of command, isn't it? You helped me to help yeah. other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get it back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave a now, Ira. She will be all right. Life. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Vix will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now. For God's sake, Jack. What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! What's the... What's the plan, exactly? Yeah. Take, take her out and then concede? Yeah. Oh, we're going to journey inside of his mind and ex excise his demons. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> Quick, press X to exercise the demons. What do we do, Lieutenant? <laughs> Jesus, look at all the kids! Stop the goddamn screaming! I need to think! And have 
How do you expect to do that, you fucking maniac? They're burned to a crisp. Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps. Get your own fucking hands dirty. I'm out of morphine. Help! Put these people out of their pain. Them to be burned to death now, is sort of getting that's his an hands order. dirty. Fuck. At that point, shooting them is probably not getting them. Did he just shoot? Yeah, yeah, he did. He sure did that. <laughs> he just... Everyone out of here now. That's mutiny. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Phelps to an aid station. Weapons team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? Wow. I don't want to ever hear another word about it. Leave wow. us alone, Japanese music assault. Although that'd actually be a pretty sweet name for a band. <laughs> Japanese music assault? Yeah. <laughs> He was doing him a favor. He's flooding so much. Call oh, brains in up here. I'll get this great. Hey, what is that? Bone. <laughs> Super bone. Hand her up. Get out of here. Not He's I'm trying not to get out of here. Wanted, Jack. Let me help. What are you waiting for? Jump, Cole. Jump for it. No, don't. Just, yeah. It's, it's fine. It's, it's better this way, trust me. It's just Phelps. Don't worry about it. Yeah. He was... Oh, he was that, that was probably the least likely way for him to die. Yeah, right? When we were playing this game, it never occurred to me that he would die in a flood? <laughs> he, he would, like, drown in a flood in the riverbed under Los Angeles. Also, where did all that water come from? I really would like to know where that came from. Was it the rain? Because... Even if it was raining... That wouldn't have happened. Not at that all. That was obscene. I feel like this game was like... Trying to be like, Oh, it's a twist. The protagonist is actually a terrible person. We're gathered here. Like, why not just make him a terrible person Detective from the Cole start? Phelps. Is that Roy? Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. No. Here, here. A war hero who led his that's men Roy. with true valor. Oh, that's... I thought you were asking about and the picture. And through his like, personal yeah. bravery, achieved one of his country's highest honors. Roy is the one who's eulogizing him. A the one who ruined his life. Accused. Well, the one who, who outed never him. never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. God. You belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer who you recognized friend, the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued I was never to his fight enemy. the good fight. I think you knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. Is this the last episode? This is a good husband. Probably the last cutscene or on his way to A good father. Him? I mean, the protagonist didn't say, die. It's true. A good friend. What? Why? Can someone kill him? Ooh, can zombie Phelps kill him? Yes! That's how this game needs to end. That would be so amazing. Arr! Moth to a flame? What does that even mean? Alright. Well, that's L.A. Noir, apparently. Wow, or, is it just me, or was that a really unsatisfying conclusion? Like, I don't mind that the protagonist died, but, like, that didn't feel like it wrapped anything up or, like, came to a dramatic conclusion at all. Yeah. It was sort of like, okay, we, like, gradually built towards having a vague case against this super corruption. Yeah. And, like, we didn't really have enough to make a case for it. And then, like, one of the people investigating drowned and, yeah. and like, his adulterous girlfriend 
<laughs> like was upset that the biggest douche in the world was who like ruined him. his life was the one who was eulogizing him. Yeah. Why did anyone let that happen? I don't. I don't. I don't. Like Kelso would have been fine. Uh, any of his other partners would have been fine. Binbar would have been better. Well, like it, at, at the very least, like why not Herschel as his current partner? Yeah. Like it. It just seems weird. Just giving Roy any more screen time than necessary is, well, quite unnecessary. Yeah. Alright. Let's sum it up. What are our feelings on this game? Um, I felt pretty good about this game. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it 32 thumbs down. <laughs> Out of what measurement system exactly? You know, it's not even, it's not even quantifiable. <laughs> then what's the point of doing it? Exactly. <laughs> Touche, Tech, touche. Uh, all right, so I think that this game... All right, clearly this game was revolutionary because it had this crazy mocap thing with the faces. Yeah. Which was cool. I will give you that. Yeah. It. it um, I still feel like it's a little uncanny valley. You do get used to yes, it for sure. You, you definitely but, like, get used to it. But, like, it's still not... It's not the finalized technology by any means. It's no. certainly, like, the bleeding edge of something that's fairly impressive. And I think that's what this entire game is. It's like it's trying to be something that it's just not ready to be. Uh, to me, I feel like they focus so much on that aspect of the game, the the revolutionary potential of it, that they didn't put in the like core essentials of game design. Well, exactly. I mean, I feel like they... Yes, that's, that is definitely true. And it seems to me like they threw in all these other elements that are in other games, specifically Rockstar games to fill in all the gaps. You know, it was like when they were building the dinosaur in Jurassic Park. They used frog, yeah, they used DNA. frog DNA. Yeah. So, like, like, like the whole open world thing. They were like, well, well we do see, that in all our other games. I, I understand what you're saying, but I, I disagree in that they're not so much taking the elements of other Rockstar games. It's It feels more to me as though the people who made other Rockstar games were trying to do something different, but that's all they knew. They made an open world because that's what, like, essentially every Rockstar game has been. Yeah. But it's not an open world. There, you can only open doors with gold handles. You, yeah. You can't, like, do anything in your spare time. Yeah, you, you can't. You don't have access to any of your tools other than the car. You can't interact with any anyone like if, else in the world. If, if all you want to do is drive around, get, like, a racing game. Yeah. Don't buy L.A. Noir. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, and, I mean... The, for all its faults, I feel like the op the sandbox element of this game is its biggest. Like, yes, it really. I, it, it's certainly the biggest disappointment. Yeah. Like they, I mean, I don't think they explicitly build it as such, but like, it it was a really interesting idea going into it to play as a detective and still have the open world ability. Sure. Of a game like Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption or whatever. I think one of the things that this game sort of also like hinted at at the very beginning that never actually paid off was this idea of using the sandbox world to gather information. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, remember, remember our very first case? Right. Where we investigated a crime scene, then we went to a gun store, mm -hmm. and then we went to another place. You know what I mean? We were going around collecting information to right. find the person. It, it's, I feel like every subsequent case was like, you go to the crime scene. You gather all your evidence, then you talk to a bunch of suspects, then the game is over. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't, of, yeah. it didn't feel like we were organically discovering new places to go. Well, yeah, absolutely. You know, like, in a... Again, like, to compare to other games by the, the same... By Rockstar, like, in a Grand Theft Auto game, usually you, like, arrive in town... You're nobody. You, yeah. like, work with whatever crime organization will have you, and then you, like, build respect and, like, move on. But, like, even when we got promoted to other departments, we were usually, like, working out of the same department. Right. Like, wherever our home base was was largely irrelevant because we were there for, like, all of 40 seconds while they said, yeah, right. there's, like, an arson here. Go right. drive there. Right. Or whatever. Like, it's just... N like, literally nothing seemed to matter. Yeah. Like, uh, re honestly, my, my, really what my point is, because, I mean, sort of what I said didn't make sense, but what my point is is that the game ended up being a lot more linear than I think it should have been. Yeah. You I know mean, what like, I mean? The, the biggest branch from linearity was when we would have, like, there were three cases in the game where there were multiple legitimate suspects. And right. at other points in the game, 
like there would be multiple locations to look at, but ultimately you'd still end up at the same conclusion. But yeah, like, the, like it did. That's that's my point. Yeah, is that I mean the only way in which go you know choosing your locations mattered is how annoying it would be later to drive around. Right. <laughs> well, no, no. How annoying it would be later. Like so, you go to one location, right? Yeah. And we discovered in a number of cases is had we gone so you know to st- talk to so and so first. We would have had X information and not failed. Right. As opposed to, you know, had we gone to so-and-so first, we would have had X information and something different would have happened. Yeah. Instead, it's like either you've collected the necessary information to solve the case easily or you get a bunch of nebulous data that's completely useless to you. Well, the thing is, even when you do have all the clues, the connections aren't always clear and the, the interrogation system itself is a little bit flawed in that it's a... It's a three option system and like one of them is like you accuse someone of lying but like sometimes that just means you know something that they're not telling you. Yeah. Which is different from them saying something that's not true. It's sort of like it's sort of like that game where people are like, "Oh, would you rather have, you know, toes made of dicks or a vulva on your palm?" It's like None of these choices are good. <laughs> Can I just choose not to have any of these things? Like, I, I, it's sort of like I mean, that. It's like, to, to it's me, implying, it's imposing a structure upon a, a far more organic yeah. interaction. To, to me, one of the biggest failings of the game, it's, it's not that it's difficult to come to the so-called right conclusion for whatever reason. We're terrible at the game, or there are problems with certain aspects, or both, or whatever. Right. It's more that... When you when you accuse the wrong person in one of those like multiple suspect cases, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you get the right person or have enough evidence at any point in the game. Yeah. Like if that would have been a different approach to the sandbox thing. Yeah. And like maybe they could have even structured it such that you could put someone away because it benefits you right. in some way. Like right. you could you could make your character into a more corrupt police officer yeah. or not. Like yeah. it, it, it's sort of the, a similar issue that I had with Fable Three. In, in Fable Three, they had a moral choice system, but like all you ever did was push a button. It was like, do you want to burn down the orphanage or save puppies? Yeah. But like, what I wanted out of that game. There were, there was like one or two instances, not many, but there were a few times when like you could sort of do X or Y mm. and it would still have the same effect as pressing like X or Y button uh-huh. to make a moral choice. But it's, it feels more immersive because it's actually you doing something to cause a change in yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. So like if your actions, whether being an incompetent police officer mm-hmm. or like being a corrupt police officer or whatever... Yeah. If that changed your character or the way the game played for you, that would have been a really interesting experience. I mean, they tried to do that with the whole leveling system, but I, what, I don't think that what, accomplished that at all. I agree, but what all that ended up doing was giving you extra uh, intuition. I think it points. gave us a suit at one point. Yeah. And like, it unlocks a certain number of fancy hidden cars. Yeah, which is the only reason to go anywhere in the, the sandbox thing. Yeah. So, really, if you like driving... Oh, good lord. <laughs> good god. How about this for a headline? Guess which former Six Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps, you didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only... Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge, wife and kids in tow, and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're gonna have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. No, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petaloo and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting, I thought he said you're sh- I'm you're not shitting on you're talking about things. stealing it. <laughs> Keep your voice down. Could be doing. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. 
I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. Pet so what do you dog? want, Jack? Yeah, What's the future got in store for you? Yeah. You guys were all heroes Isn't in that the war. The dog? Every single one of you. <laughs> Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the six have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me. All right. What an awesome way to end this episode. More useless cutscenes. <laughs> Yeah, like again, that doesn't really do anything to wrap up. We or didn't learn anything. Make it we, exciting. Like we, all we, we just... learned is that, like I think it was kept a little bit ambiguous as to whether Kelso was involved in the yeah. the dope heist, and now we know that he's not. Yeah. So in summation, I would say if you like driving uh, in video games and not really having a ton of sandbox elements, but being able to drive in simulated Los Angeles. Yeah, there you go. But you have no interest in legitimate police work. Yes. Or exciting game mechanics. Yes. And pick up L.A. Noir. Yes. Especially if you don't like shooters. Yeah. Well, you don't like shooters. Did you love it? Um, no. Okay. Well, anyway. Any, anything you have to add to that, Tech? Not really. I'm sure it'll come to me. I think uh, we're gonna we're gonna finish by doing. Uh, an episode or two of getting some some hidden cars, aren't we? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, we're uh, gonna have some bonus content. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. Um, we'll probably have some more uh, more of our feelings will be expressed as we're driving around. Cause Mo it's, most likely. It's most gonna likely. gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the exciting conclusion of L.A. Noir. There was a flamethrower. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, but you didn't get to use it. Is that exciting? No. Yeah. It's kind of sad, actually. That's what I thought. You didn't get to use the flamethrower. But at the same time, you didn't have to do any of the balance beams. Yeah, that's... I never did actually do a balance beam. I'm aware of that. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this terrible, terrible game. <laughs> uh, and I'm glad that we convinced... I know convinced, we're done with it. I'm glad that we've convinced some of you not to purchase it. Yeah, Tech informed me of that comment today, and I was very excited. Yeah, so go... So whatever we've, we've made a difference in the world. Yes, we are special. <laughs> We have improved someone's life. And, I don't know uh, about that, because he watched the videos. <laughs> so clearly not that and, much. And if you want us to improve your lives, then you should subscribe and yes. rate our videos. Yes. And keep watching. And uh, keep an eye out for uh, announcements soon yes. about our next LP we're, or we're LP. We're going to be doing something a little different, and yeah. I think we both agree that it's very exciting. Yes, it's very exciting. So keep an eye out for uh, an announcement from the both of us in the near future. Alright, you guys have a good one, and thanks for watching. The Renegade Constabulary plays L.A. Noir. I'm waving. You can't see it, but I'm waving. He's not. He's lying to you. He's a bad person. No, I'm actually waving. <laughs>